not having cops around and just, you know, isolated like that? Um, it's a little different considering you guys are here quite often. Um, so this is, yeah, this is kind of the first interview, so I kind of got to get ready, so. <laughs> that's, that's a little different. The game plan for an interview? Uh, nah. <laughs> um, you guys obviously lost your position coach, and now you have Brian Hartline. Um, first of all, about Brian, what, what is he like as a coach? What's it been like having him as your position coach? Uh, he's very energetic and hands-on. You may see him out there with the crayons trying to give us a look, um, press man. He's always running around, always critiquing everybody, uh, coaching everybody up, whether you're a starter or you're a walk-on. Um, so he really brings a lot to our room, and uh, we're happy to have him. What were your impressions of Zach Smith? How have you kind of processed the past four weeks since it's all played out? Uh, questions only, please. This is different. Just, just different. I mean, I, I had a connection with him because I came in with him, but I got to focus on who's here now. So. That's just it's different now. Terry, how much is this motivating you guys? Uh, as far as what? Like, just the whole situation? Um, I mean, it doesn't really change what we do on the field. Rather, whoever's out there coaching us, um, us as leaders, me, Paris, and Johnny, um, we all had goals coming into this season, coming back. So whoever's out there, we got to be able to prepare and, and be ready to play on Saturdays because that's what really matters, winning games. Well, has it made you an angrier football team at all or given you any extra motivation? Um, I mean, I guess it gives you a little motivation considering every, you know you kind of have a target on your back. But you're Ohio State Buckeyes, even if the things weren't going on that are going on, uh, everybody wants to beat you. So going into every season, you got to give each opponent the respect that they deserve. And um, you know, you're trying to be one of the top four teams in the country every year. So uh, when you're at Ohio State, um, you know, the scrutiny and, and the eyes are always on you. Kind of going on that. Thought that maybe it was Thursday, the, the early morning meeting, you guys looked a little bit worn down or tired, but other than that, the team's been taking it well. Is that about what you experienced this year? Uh, yeah, definitely. That's just the wear and tear of training camp. Um, um, you know, you go through two and a half weeks, three weeks of just going at each other. You, you know, you're going to get worn down because I hear you expect the best. So we're going at each other, offensive, defense, every single rep of every single practice. So. Um, the coach has been doing a really good job of taking care of us. Um, they're trying to make sure that our bodies are right and our minds are right um, for this first game coming up. So, I mean, obviously you kind of have that physical and mental fatigue, but, um, you know, it's your job as a player to make sure that you're ready. How things been different without Coach Meyer there? Um, to, to, to be honest, with Coach Day's credit, um, you know, our routine hasn't really changed. Obviously, you miss Coach Meyer and a lot of the motivation that he brings and just some of that intensity. But Coach Day has done a really good job, along with the rest of the coaches, of just keeping things as normal as possible. Um, you know, you don't really know how to anticipate that coming into you know, our situation. But um, I have to give the coaching staff credit and our leaders credit, just making sure things have really stayed as close as the same as possible. Any increase of pressure to win those first three games with uh, there's pressure to win every game here at Ohio State. That's our goal. Um, you know, whether he's here or not, uh, we have to perform at a very high level because really at the end of the day, if, you, if you're honest, Buckeye Nation really only cares about W's, no matter who the player is, no matter who the coach is. When did you guys know you were going to be okay and that routine was going to stay the same? Um, I mean, you kind of, the culture stays the same around here no matter really who the coaching is. So we have a template of, how the leaders are supposed to practice, how everybody's supposed to practice, how we come in to prepare for each and every practice and game. So um, just when we got into the swing of things and know we couldn't really control what was outside the woody, but we could only control what was inside, that's kind of the approach that we took, and uh, we just went to work from there. No, Terry, kind of talking about the coaching staff and how they helped you through this situation, it seems, you know, in this program it's always been, you know, it seems like all the position are very close with their position coaches and stuff like that. Does that kind of small unit cohesion help with going through something like this and kind of cancel out all those distractions when everybody's kind of to their own unit? Uh, definitely. That's one of our core values is uh, the brotherhood of trust and just leaning on each other um, when this time, when times like this arise, we can't really control uh, the events that happen, but we control our reaction to get the right outcome that we want. Tim Kite is a really big part of that and just coaching our coaches and the players and just how to react when things that unforeseeable happen. So just getting around your, your brothers and your coaches, your teammates, that's really what helps you get through the tough times because um, you know everybody has their outside opinions, but at the same time, we're all going through it together. So um, I guess that makes it a little easier to lead each other. And then also in the first AP poll, I mean, you guys 
are the reigning Big Ten champions, probably the most, one of the most talented teams in the country, yet you weren't even the highest ranked Big Ten team in the rankings. Does that kind of stick with you guys a little bit? I mean, with all the situation this past month aside, I mean, does that, are you a little insulted, I guess, and is that something that motivates you guys? Um, as Rennie Big Ten champions. I mean, obviously you want to be seen as one of the best teams in the country, but at the end of the day, each team has to go out and prove it. So uh, whether we're ranked first or, or last, I mean, it doesn't really change our approach. Obviously that kind of gives some guys a chip on their shoulder, our team a chip on our shoulder, because we want to go out and prove that we're the best each and every week. But we try not to get too deep into where we're ranked, just if we go out there and win every game and the chips will, will fall right in place. Terry, 